Inside this Margaret River home, you wouldn't know it's been scorching hot for days outside. And there's not an air conditioner in sight. Architect Michael Sorensen designed his home to be solar passive. Really going back to basic principles of orientation and cross ventilation and shading and sun penetration and vegetation uh, around the building. Or have blinds and operable shades that I'll just press a button here that come back and forth. Down the road, PB Foreman and Swabodi Francis have built their home using straw bales. Excellent insulation which keeps temperatures stable. There's absolutely no heat gain or heat loss through the walls. This is the truth window. You can see the straw bales which are stacked inside a timber frame and this clay render stores the heat, keeping it cool in summer and warm in winter and it's even fire retardant. Mr Sorensen says interest is growing, but the building industry needs to give more importance to solar considerations. I think we can take cues from, from other countries. Um, Europe, even the USA, have quite stringent requirements on how well a building performs and how much energy a building uses. It just makes sense is that why would you do anything else? I mean, why would you spend money trying to heat or cool a house when you don't need to. There are already around 70 straw bale houses between Dunsborough and Augusta. Roxanne Taylor, ABC News, Margaret River.